in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, to whom we all have to turn back. Honorable listeners and respectable idols, you know that we have started a series of linguistics. Yesterday our topic was the difference between consonant sounds and vowel sounds. Consonant sounds are those sounds which produced with the obstruction to the flow of air. And vowel sounds are those sounds which produced without obstruction to the flow of air. And I told you about semi vowel sounds. That semi vowel sounds, they are also known as consonant, but they are semi vowels because they are also produced without. Uh, obstruction to the flow of air. Listeners and audience today, our topic is short vowels. In this short video, I will tell you that how many short vowels are there and what are IPA symbols or international phonetic symbols for short vowel sounds uh, and what are common examples for these sounds. So, be with me and listen to this lecture from beginning until end. Listeners and writers, I think a little bit knowledge is required, background knowledge is required about English sounds before going to discuss and talk about short vowels. Little bit background knowledge is required about English language sounds that how many English sounds are there? How many vowels are there in English language? And how many consonant sounds are there? According to BBC, there are 44 English sounds. Out of these 44 sounds, 20 sounds they are vowel and the rest are consonant. The rest are consonant which are 24. So 24 sounds they are consonant sounds and 20 sounds they are vowel sounds. I am writing one by one. There are 44 sounds in English language. Uh, 24 sounds they are consonants. And 20 sounds they are vowel. And 20 vowel sounds have been divided into two portions. The first portion that is known as fewer vowels. That is known as pure vowels, and the next portion that is known as diphthong. Few vowels have also been divided into two parts. The first part that is known as short vowel, and the next part that is known as long vowel. Okay. So, how many fewer vowels are there? There are 12 fewer vowels which have been divided into two portions, short vowels and long vowels. How many short vowels are there? There are uh, 7 short vowels. How many long vowels are there? There are uh, 5 long vowels. Diphthongs. How many diphthongs are there? 8. So, 7 and 5, 12. And in 12 and 8, 20. So there are 20 vowels. It has been, they have been divided into two portions, fewer vowels in uh, diphthongs. And fewer vowels have been divided into two parts, short vowel and long vowel. Short vowels are seven in number and long vowel, they are five in number. And 20, 24 are consonant sound. We have fewer vowel sounds, they are 12 in number. What are fewer vowel sounds? Fewer vowel sounds are those sounds which are constant, which do not change and which do not glide in articulation, which do not show movement in articulation or movement in that articulation, that's why they are known as fewer uh, vowels. So listen to this, this was uh, background knowledge, little bit background knowledge about uh, 
sounds in English language that how many sounds are there. So let's come to our main topic short vowel sounds. That how many short vowel sounds are there? Seven short vowels are there. I'm writing them one by one. This is uh, the past symbol which is used for short vowel. This is a uh, a uh, sound a. Uh. Like I say, for example, bed, kid. So this is a sound a uh, and rate, etc. Another symbol in short vowel sound that is a, a sound, a, like very short. For example, you see this symbol is used. This symbol is used for this one. Set, 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 match, set, match. Net and get. Some students they pronounce uh, this is like get. It's wrong. It's get, get, set, match. Another symbol that is very short. E, e, e sound. Like I say, sit and uh, hit. Also, kit. So now listen to the You see the difference. This is set and this is sit. Set, sit. Met, uh, met and hit. Net, kit. And get. So be careful about that. It's not get, it's get. And another symbol is used uh, in short vowel. Uh, that is very short. A uh, uh, sound. Very short. Like uh, in this symbol, you see, this is what is sound. But, but, cut. This symbol is used. Cut. And uh, then we also have another one. That is, uh, this sign is used. This is for O sound, O. This is for O sound. Like we say, hot, hot. We say, on, on. And uh, another symbol that is used, that is schwa sound. This is known as schwa sound. So, in schwa sound, mostly come at the beginning of the word schwa sound or at the end, like aba, very short, aba, 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 and another is another, another, brother, in brother, the last one, uh, before uh, R and alphabet. And we also have the last one that is. This uh, symbol is for U sound, U, like we say KUR. So, for these two letters, we use this symbol KUR, KUR. And then we have SHUR and uh, KUR, could I have written WUR. So, could, should, and verb. So, let's listen to this. I'm repeating these sounds one by one. Bad, cat, red, set, match, net, get, sit, hit, kit, but, cut, hot, on, aba, another, could, should, and verb. If you want to write the whole word is a Phonetic symbols, then you can write. 